October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and the CIBC Run for the Cure kicked things off at Bower Ponds. 972 runners arrived bundled and not so bundled in pink to brave the cooler temperatures for a great cause. It's about coming out and raising money for a disease that touches all of the women in Canada and all over the world. Uh, we come out and we get together to not only raise money but awareness and meet the people who are inspire us to be here and it's a huge community event that happens every year across Canada. The Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation has invested over $300 million to fund innovative research projects and as always Red Deer came together to make a record-breaking donation. We actually are one of the few cities in Canada that beat our goal, so we're 40% higher than last year with just over $200,000. Impressive numbers, but the committee is not done yet. We can't stop now. We're, not, we're close, but we're not close enough. The statistics are staggering. One in nine Canadian women are expected to develop breast cancer during their lifetime, and one in 30 diagnosed will die from breast cancer. The Run for the Cure raises funds to find a cure and make those statistics a thing of the past. But the event also takes time to celebrate the survivors and honour those that lost the fight. I think it is, it's very difficult for them to be here today. A lot of them really struggle with not getting out here. Some of them are actually still in treatment. And we also released the balloons for those people that couldn't make it here today and that lost the fight because we have to honour them as well. One of the survivors, Morgan Tripke, took to the stage to tell her story and inspire the hopeful crowd. Last year at the age of 32, I was diagnosed with uh, invasive ductal carcinoma, triple negative, grade 3 uh, breast cancer. And I battled through, I had a double mastectomy, reconstruction, chemotherapy, and I am now currently cancer free. I'm here just thankful that everybody else around here is fighting to find a cure for breast cancer so that none of us have to go through it again and our future doesn't have to ever experience it. Fewer Canadian women are dying from breast cancer today than in the past. Since their peak in 1986, breast cancer deaths have decreased by 44% due to earlier detection through regular mammography screening, advances in screening technology, and improved treatments. Tripke believes self-examinations are of utmost importance. What I hope everybody can learn from my experience and from everybody's experience with breast cancer is to get to know your body, know your breasts, be familiar with yourself, be aware, because it doesn't matter how old you are or who you are. I thought for the longest time, it, cancer's not going to happen to me. It's, it happens to other people, not me. And I was wrong, so I should have paid more attention and been more aware, and I wasn't. So if I can prevent one person from having to go through what I went through, then my journey was worth it. For Go On Shaw TV, I'm Chloe Hoffner.